Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Who else is confused about this book of lies drama that's going on between Queen Nyjah, Chris Sells, Clarence, and Leslie? Oh, and Maud. <laughs> between the five of them, not including Chris and Leslie's mothers, there are like 15 to 20 different videos and reaction that basically point the finger at each other. Um, so basically, um, in this video, we'll start from the beginning if you haven't had a chance to watch all, the, all of them, and then I'll go into detail of exactly what happened. All right, so the book of lies comes out. Leslie responds and claims that she didn't write the book. She um, created her YouTube channel and posts her first video. In this ep episode, well, not episode, but in this video, she comes out and shares some things about her and Clarence's relationship. She makes little side remarks um, about them, but she basically explains that many people ask about her side of the story um, and also wants to know in detail of what happened between her, Clarence, and Queen, you know, since there is a whole love triangle thing going on. Clarence then makes a video responding to both Leslie and the author of the book. Um, at this point, I think this is where he mentions his disdain um, against Leslie and also mentions that, you know, at this point, all she had to do was just say that she didn't write the book. So he's insinuating that she's the one who wants attention. Um, in, the me in the most part, he doesn't really say anything too bad about her, but he does end up slipping up um, while he's trying to discredit the author by saying that it was impossible for them to have had an abortion considering her health issues. So at this point, he insinuates that, you know, she most likely has infertility issues. But to say that I aborted, I've never aborted any, like this is my first ever pregnancy. You feel me? I've never had a scare or anything with my ex. Actually, there is a health concern or a health mm -hmm. issue that doesn't allow, that didn't even allow that to happen with my ex. And for you not to be mindful of that or even think of that and try to say things like they that. They wouldn't that's even why know that. So now that you're saying, saying it. Why? I, 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 I can't pay attention to this. And I, I, I can't even, like, there's no way she wrote this. You feel me? There's certain things you're saying that's just not adding up. There would she that can't happen. <laughs> like that couldn't have happened. <laughs> this is how I got Patrick to switch to Aldi. I can't he believe all, he's actually saying that it can't happen. I like uh, just pre -packaged. I could have. There's just certain steps that I have to take to actually come off pregnant. Like, I cooked up it's impossible. Oh, <laughs> you feel me? Like, and I'm not here to spread anybody's business or anything, but I just want. But to, you I just did it. That, it. that is impossible. Let's go. The whole book is accurate because you're trying to pin it on somebody. The fact that you could sit up here and react to this, and the fact that you could sit up here and try to say that I wrote the book. I can't believe. I cannot believe how he said that. I cannot believe that he's saying it is impossible for me to have a baby. <sighs> Two things throughout that whole time. I said, how y'all doing? I see y'all back together. Cause then she unblocked me. So I'm allowed, I'm, I can see her picture, you feel me? And I said, yeah, we cool, but I'm still mad, a little mad at you. So I'm saying I'm cool with her. She said, I mean, it's complicated. I keep catching him talking to people and it'd be on the internet too, but don't be mad at me. And then she said, but don't be mad at me, please. I said, I know it's difficult for y'all because the kid in the business. And and she said, yes, man, it's so embarrassing. Everyone say I deserve better, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess guys mature slower. I said, it's holding shit in for years. You feel me? The world may look at me and be like, oh, queen, like I... I and look at Leslie and be like, oh yeah, he really want to be with her. Or he really want to be with that. You know, he missed that. And you're wrong. You never, you never was the woman I needed. And that's where, that's where Queen got it. You feel me? You never was the woman I needed.
and it's like it's more it's more than looks it's more than looks for me i honestly was very uh, i didn't know how to take that video like it hurt my feelings honestly so i can only imagine how she was feeling so here's a clip of her response and as you can see she is visibly upset um and this is also the video where she shades the hell out of queen um she basically insinuates that queen is the one that infiltrated um their relationship and basically i feel like she's more upset at queen than she is at clarence and i just don't understand that it had to be the ending of december something along those lines i don't really i can't pinpoint the date but it's when it, it it started up so i it was on the phone with him and he told me um you know this is business you know that i love you and i want to have babies with you and you're the girl that i want to marry he told me that i held on to that i still loved him it was five years I just wanted him to be happy and get to the space where he wanted to. And yes, I was in a dark space. I lost myself in him. Okay? You can't blame me for that. Another thing that I was holding on to, because around the time, around that time that they got together or whatever, I don't, I can't pinpoint the dates because I'm not going to go back to their videos or figure out how it all started or anything like that. But I do remember when I went to his house and I didn't feel comfortable going to the basement because I already knew someone else was there. Where it was my home. It's no longer my home no more because I left and someone was there. And I don't know when she flew down to New York, but that shit happened so fast. She came to New York so fast. And she knew about my relationship with Clarence. She knew that we were together for five years. And she knew how much he loved me and how much his family loved me. You know why? You know how she knew that? Because his mother never wanted to be in their videos. His mother still loved me. Okay? She knew at Clarence, they both knew that his mom didn't want any parts in the video. And she even told me, she said, Leslie. I, they, they know I don't want to be in the video. I'm not part of that. You know I love you, but whatever. She didn't want to be in the videos. So she knew how much his family loved me and how much he loved me. Okay? So what better way... What better way to feel more superior than me? And take all that love away from me and my family away from me? What better way? What better way than to have a baby? Ooh. Some time goes by. Um, honestly, at this point, this is where you see the videos that um, Maude posts. He's reacting to both Leslie's videos and Clarence's videos. And then also keep in mind that Clarence and Chris are also going back and forth at this point, too. Um, it's just a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, so a couple of days go by and Leslie goes on live and I actually post a video about it too. So make sure you check that out. And so she share, shares her truth. She was actually on there for quite some time. So there's tons of videos on, um, on her being on live as well. I also forgot to mention that on this very same live, this is where Chris jumps in and he begins to flirt with Leslie. So I'm guessing, honestly, like going back to um look at these videos i'm guessing this is where clarence starts to get upset because you notice like they were just playing at first you know um chris and clarence like they were going back and forth they were just being petty but now like as you can see is definitely like ballooned and i honestly feel like this is the very reason where he started to mess with leslie and at this point, um, the biggest elephant in the room is, where is Queen? You know, everybody's asking because everybody keeps on re um, responding and making reactions to it. Both Chris, Leslie, Clarence, Maude. So everybody's like, where's Queen? Why isn't she responding? So she actually posts her video. I'm sorry, y'all. I have no idea why the audio is not working on this video. But I definitely recommend that y'all should watch it because it... Um, basically gives you insight on exactly what happened and she tells her whole entire side of the story after this video this is where all hell breaks loose 
Um, this is where the Nick at Night, or Nick at Night, sorry if I mispronounced that, um, interview comes into play, where Leslie and her mom shade the hell out of Queen. <laughs> it's not funny. It's so, so, so petty. So, of course, I'm going to show you a clip of that, but I just don't understand where all of this is coming from, honestly and truly. Like, why are you not mad at Clarence? You know, like, granted, I'm sure... Leslie, as you can tell, like she has some type of resentment against Clarence, but they hate Queen in this like for what? I just I don't understand. She knew that Leslie had left the house two months, and she right away went over there and f forgot about that she had baby baby or her little baby at home in Atlanta or wherever the hell she was living. Not thinking. You're mature. You're an older woman. Not older, because she's not old. But you know what I mean? You ha you have experience with a little baby. You should be a little more careful. And you talk about women empowerment. That's lies. You don't... Also, too, y'all, um, remember that Chris's mom also had an interview with Nika Knight as well. Shout out to Nika Knight. Like, she is the queen of tea, okay? I don't like it. The fairness of things. And I don't want to get into all that extra stuff. But yeah, again, he does stupid stuff. Me and him just had words about Ooh, that. Oh, I can't recently. hear anything. I said, me, me and him just had words about that recently. You know, this if you don't want people to look at you this way, then stop doing this. But then, again, I can't tell him how to run his YouTube page just like somebody just just like you said, well, if you can relate that to him, um, me. Just like he said, well, he needs to have a manager. He needs to do better content or, you know, whatever. Nobody is telling you how to run your page. Why are people telling him how to run his page? But yeah. And honestly and truly, I feel like this is the turning point turning point in the entire um saga as well because y'all see that queen stepped back. She never responded to any of this. Um so she then posts her album, which is a banger, by the way. Y'all make sure y'all go and stream it, because that's what I've been doing. I've been listening to it this entire weekend. Um, so she doesn't really respond um, to the video on her YouTube channel, but she definitely gives you an insight of like her life story and everything that she went through in the actual album. And so I think this was a turning point um, between... Clarence and Chris because I'm I told you I mentioned that they were just playing at first like they were you know posting like subliminal messages back and forth on Instagram and you know posting their videos of the reactions but it was playful you know but honestly as you can see it's turned for the worse um because Clarence definitely admitted that she was abused by Chris and honestly, I don't know how I feel about that because I can't imagine like me going through such a horrible relationship. And of course, I'm going to put it in my album if I'm an artist, you know, I'm going to artistically express my truth. But imagine like my boyfriend or like imagine your boyfriend outing you out on social media. Like, I feel like that wasn't his place. Like, of course, I'm a, a fan of Clarence, but I don't know. I definitely just I don't agree with that. I feel like Queen is entitled of telling her truth on social media. And if she wants to beef with Chris, go ahead and do that. But I don't understand why, you know, Clarence went ahead and did that. But I don't know, to each his own. In that song, she addressed some of the things that she went through with Chris. Now, I've watched uh, all of these reactions. And in every single last one of the videos that Clarence had dropped... He brought up some of those physical uh, abuse allegations. I have to just be, you know, be politically correct <laughs> on this camera. But he's brought it up. And it made me go back to Chris Sale's reactions to those videos. All of them. And what I noticed that in every single video that Chris reacted to, of Clarence. When Clarence got to those parts, he edited it out of the video, his reactions. Backed into a corner.
You trolled your way right to this. You know that? You trolled your way right to this. You call it exposure for her album. I think. Chris, you do not give us exposure, King. It is the other way around. You don't give anybody exposure. Content? Yes. Exposure? No. <laughs> very smart you know somebody on her team probably wrote the book just so people can be talking you know this is like this is a, one of the signs of narcissism right here is automatically deflecting doesn't know how to apologize or take responsibility first 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 move or first instinct is to deflect and blame this situation is getting messier and messier. I have so many questions like, um, why would that person write the book? Why was it responding and created a YouTube channel? How coincidental that Queen and Chris dropped music at the same time? Why Clarence is all of a sudden talking about Chris sales abuse and not Queen? Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think. Be sure just to subscribe to my channel and make sure to like and comment and tell me y'all opinions. I will be posting more videos, so definitely um, turn on your post notifications for that.